So my interest in shockwave treatment came from a horse that had a broken leg and I looked in the literature what's available for horses to speed up healing and I found that in human medicine they used a lot of shockwave treatment so that piqued my interest and I found the most applicable method to study shockwave treatment was a wound healing model. That's how I started to become interested. The benefit to the lives of horses from my shockwave treatment is that we can time much better when we treat these horses. Through my project we have found that waiting with treatment of wounds in horses for a couple of weeks before we start is too long. We need to start similar to people pretty immediately after those wounds occur if we want to have a benefit. And those horses have less proud flesh formation if we start right after the injury occurs in those really big wounds. For horse owners it will be in the beginning more expensive because shockwave treatment is fairly expensive but they save themselves months and months and months of stall rest because the, these wounds will heal faster and they save themselves costly treatment for proud flesh development because these wounds develop less proud flesh with shockwave treatment. There are multiple uses of shockwave treatment. The most common one is to improve the duration of healing, uh, meaning wounds or tendons heal faster. And the process by which that develops is that shockwave treatment induces inflammation in the tissue and horses normally have a prolonged but weak inflammation phase, unlike other species, particularly in their limbs. So treating these horses with shockwave gives them a stronger inflammation and as a result of that the actual inflammatory phase is shorter and so it allows them to heal faster. So the mechanism of repair of wounds uh, and the effect of shockwave on it is still not really understood. We know that these horses by looking at the outside of the wounds, these horses have less inflammation in their wounds after two weeks. We did not, or we were not able in the wounds to show any change of transforming growth factor beta, which is a growth factor that in people um, is responsible for transforming um, cells in the wound into another type of cells. And this growth factor, we were not able to prove that it is affected by shockwave in the wound tissue. Currently, this summer, I am finishing looking at different growth factors. There are four more growth factors that we are looking at, such as uh, one that promotes vessels to grow in and another one that attracts another type of cells. It took us a long time to develop the primers and make them work in wound tissue. Well, the next step in our research is to further investigate the different growth factors and see if we can find at what dosage and at what treatment interval do we see up or down regulation of growth factors. This research uh, actually came basically together by a very generous donation of the shockwave machine, which was very, very expensive, by a grateful Thorbert owner who bought the machine for my research. And then in subsequent years, Sequin Guelph has sponsored um, the following two projects that came out of this. And I had a graduate student, Andressa Silvaira, who did a lot of the wound healing work. And I currently have a summer student working actually on it the third year and her name is Kate Link and she has done a lot, a lot, a lot of work. And I have also a variety of co-workers that I couldn't have done that project without. Mm -hmm.